On part C, we've got 4.9 TF minus 2.8. So to factor this out, hopefully you guys remember this from class, but we move the decimal over to the right once in both of these, which would give us whole numbers 49 TF minus 28T. Now the thing you got to remember about this is since we move the decimal here, once we factor this out, we'll have to move the decimal back, just in the greatest common factor, though. All right, the first term is uh, 49TF now, and 49 would split up into 7 and 7, which both are prime. So this ends up being 7 times 7 times T times F. And then the second one was a 28T, which would split up into... Maybe you used uh, 4 and 8, which would be 2 and 2, and 8 would be, wait, I said 8, didn't I? I meant 7. Yeah. So 7 is prime. So 28t would be 2 times 2 times 7 times uh, t. So what is our greatest common factor? Well, it's 7 and a T. We've got the greatest common factor, which is 7T. And in the parentheses, uh, what we used to have is up here the 49TF. And what's, what remains from the 49TF is the 7 and the F. So we have 7F. This would be subtracted from what was left over from 28t, which is 2 times 2, is 4. Now this is not complete though. So in the beginning of this, remember we moved the decimals up in here. So we need to move the decimal just in the greatest common factor back to the left one, because in the beginning we moved it to the right one. So the actual answer would be 0.7t. And inside the parentheses remains the same. And the nice thing about this is if you were to check this, okay, if you were to redistribute that 0.7t, you would get exactly what we started with, which is how you would check your answer. Yeah,